Hi guys, this is Adriana and welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first video and I decided to go kind of like in my comfort zone. Um, this is like a neutral, glam, everyday like wearable look. I know a lot of people will think that it's super extra for everyday, but this is my own personal like everyday look. I think it goes with multiple skin tones, even though it is kind of darker because I do have and enjoy darker things. But I think it could go with anything really, and it goes with any like outfit. Like if you just don't want to pick out your outfit, just want to get your makeup done, like this is a really like easy like go to like just get it done, figure everything out later. So without further ado. Here's my video. I really hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys again at the end. So I'm going to start off using Benefit's Pore Professional. You can't really see it. My lighting sucks. But I'm going to start that. Ooh. It's actually my first time using this. So, see if I like it. I'm going to use it in my T-zone. Next, I'm actually going to use a serum from Hey Honey. It's called Good Morning. Um, I couldn't get it to look good in the lighting. So I'll just put the link to that in the description. Not the description. Uh, the description below. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I am in the color Honey. Um, I know I don't look like it on camera, but I am like a more olive skin tone, and I love this foundation. This is my holy grail foundation. It's the only one I use ever. It's only the second one I've ever tried, and I absolutely love it. So, I like to apply with my finger. Start with. You're going to notice me looking over to the side a lot and that's because I have a mirror over here to kind of help me out a little bit because my laptop is not doing it for me and yeah and then I go in with my beauty blender and just blend it all out you feel I turn on some music because I could never, you know, do makeup without music. So I turn it on. Um, for concealer. So I don't really have a concealer <laughs> right now. So I took this from my mother. It is the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. And it's in 815 Fair. I know it's super, super, super too light for me. But it's a concealer. So like... I want my concealer to literally be white. So, like, it works, right? You know, now that I look like an absolute white mess, I'm just gonna, like, blend it all in. I always make sure to get up to that inner corner of my eye. I don't know. I don't know why. Honestly, one time, Patrick told me to do it. So I was like, okay, babe, I got you. I don't need my chat. And now that I have that all blended, I'm going to take the lightest shade of the Kat Von D contouring palette. And I'm going to set my under eye with that. Next, I'm going to set my whole face using RCMA. Um, no color powder. It says the original on the top. So if that helps at all, um, honestly, I'm going to look like a ghost. But I have no shame. Oh my god. So I'm going to do eyes while I'm letting my face bake. I'm going to start, honestly, the names wiped off. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to use this, oh, this first tone in the Kat Von D mixed you can't even see it, with the second tone. So I'm going to use these two as my transition tone.
This is just my transition color. It's going to try to set the base of what everything else is going to be. So after I put that on, I realized that it's a little too dark for the transition tone I wanted to go for. So to just lighten it up a little bit, I'm going to go into my queen's palette. It's Nikki Tutorial. She is my absolute makeup goddess. And I'm going to go in and get the color Ivy just to lighten it up a little bit. You see all this fallout? That's why I bake while I do my eyeshadow. And it comes right off with the bake. Now for my crease color, I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Vice Palette. And I'm going to use this one right here. It's called Delete. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is the lid. The reason I love the lid so much is because I always have glitter. I don't I don't think I've ever done a matte lid, and I don't know when I'm going to, but I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to go in first with Ivy from my Queen's palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that kind of as a base. I cannot see in this camera. And the main reason I did Ivy is simply because I'm going to do a pigment glitter. I'm not going to do a shadow glitter. It's getting everywhere. And it's from M Princess. I got it in an Ipsy bag, actually. And it's like this bronzy gold glitter. And it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful I actually left and asked my sister I took her like four different glitters and I was like which one do I use and she was like use this one and I'm like okay so so I ended up adding a second glitter because the first one just wasn't pigmented enough so I added Melon by MAC. It is a super bomb pigment. It is my favorite pigment. I bought this about a year ago, and look at that. Huh, not even a dent. It's bomb, and it's going to last me forever, and I'm okay with that because I need it forever. <sighs> Next, I am going to highlight my brow bone. I'm... <sighs> I think I'm going to use Champagne Truffle from the um, Nikki Tutorials palette with Too Faced. And it's technically a highlight. And I know a lot of people usually use eyeshadow to highlight their brow bone, but you know it's a highlight. And I'm highlighting, so like, why not? So that's the eye look. I do not do eyeliner because I suck at it. So I have to get used to it before I'm willing to do that on camera at all. And I'm going to do the other eye off camera. So I'm going to brush away my bake. And you'll see that as I brush away my bake, the fallout leaves with it. Like... Honestly, I already know that I'm going to get a lot of hate for my eyebrows. Because I'm not the best at eyebrows. Like, this one's more arch. This one's more straight with a thinner curve. Like, blah, 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 blah. My personal philosophy is that your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. And I'm going to stick to that until I know how to do them right. So, yeah, my eyebrows, like... They look, they look okay, they look decent, but I know that they're not perfect by any means. So, just know that I know. 
contour, 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 contour. I love me some contour. I love it so much. And it's like my favorite thing to do. So, um, let's get to it. I use the Calvin D Shade of Light palette. And I use the darkest tone. Most people tell me I'm crazy. Because I really... Sorry, my dog's in here. But I'm really not that dark. So people tell me I'm insane. But like... Haters gonna hate. I don't know that phone number. A lot of people also believe that I use too much contour. Honestly though. Is there such thing as too much contour? Because if there is, I have not seen it. And I definitely haven't reached it. So... Next, I'm going to use, oh, you can't see it, but it's a MAC blush. It's like a peachy pink called Modern Mandarin. For anyone that knows what it's called, if I pronounced it wrong, I am so sorry. But I like to smile. And do it right at the cheeks and then pull it back a little bit. Next, I am going to highlight. And I'm going to highlight a lot. I am using ColourPop's Wisp. Can't really, there we go. It's like a champagne. -y. Yeah, you can't see it. Oh, that work? Kind of. But it's like a champagne. -y. But I love it. Hmm. Mm hmm. I highlight every single elevated place on my face. I want to be glowing, and I want the gods to see me. Like, I, I don't want to be me mediocre. I want to glow. So, I applied my lashes off camera. And the major reason I did that is because I do not like my application process. But I haven't been able to learn and really grasp another one. So... I mean, they stay, they look okay, but like, I need to learn a better way before I do it on camera and say like, this is a way to put on your lashes. And this is my first time wearing these lashes. I, not really sure how I feel about them yet. I usually get a lot bigger, longer, more curled lashes, but these are Cara Wisp. Next, I'm going to do lips. I'm going with my little trusty MAC. And this is in the color Mocha. Um, uh, that doesn't really work. It's like a nude brown, but it's a darker nude, which works with me. Because like I said, like I do have a darker complexion. So... So this is going to be my finished look, but I'm going to get changed really quickly, and then I'll be back. So this is my finished look. Um, like I said at the beginning, it's really good, like whether it's just for like out on the town, um, a business meeting, absolutely anything. It's a very neutral look. It's glam though, so it could be a lot of fun. And I really hope you guys enjoyed my video. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe, like, 
comment, whatever you feel like doing. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And I was wondering what you guys would like to see in my next video. Um, I could try colorful. I could do another neutral maybe with a more silvery something instead of that. I know because this look is a little more gold. Um, so yeah, please just let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please like the video and hit that subscribe button. Okay, thank you so much lovelies. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you with my next video. Bye!